Come on, I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna touch him. Let's get face to face. Let's get close. Look into the eyes, kid. At the face-off, Conor McGregor stalked the stage hunting prey. Khabib's reaction to aggression from his sworn enemy was out of character for the proud Dagestani. When McGregor stepped up to him for the first time, Khabib froze. Want to know why Khabib behaved so strangely for the first time in his career? Stick around. If the mood of the verbal portion of the presser was dark and foreboding, the stare-down was a high-tension payoff. McGregor takes the stage two steps at a time. He's in an animal crouch, hoping to flush his quarry. One imagines the reticulation of ancient scent upon still close air, a tincture of blood, sweat, and body heat. Khabib walks on stage with his chin elevated in a practice insouciance. As McGregor continues to roll up, Khabib stops short, way short. He's a good three feet from where he should be. This isn't at all how Khabib normally acts. The old Khabib has no problem walking right up on a dude. March 4th. Alright. Come on, buddy. Face forward. Come on, dog. What? I'm not going nowhere. Buddy. What? I'm what? Just standing. You wanna say something? No, I'm just saying. You wanna say something? My eyes. What's your eyes? What's your eyes? What's your eyes? Face forward. Put your eyes forward. Against Abel Trujillo, he snaps in anger. My guess is Khabib has a temper issue. We know the guy holds a wicked grudge. Do not let him win, okay? He gets you angry, he wins. Just before the McGregor press conference, his coach tries to drive home the importance of keeping his anger in check. Whatever you do, you make fun of it. Make fun of him. You know, make fun of the chicken. Anything you want to say, say, but you make fun of him. But you will not let him get you back. I started to think Khabib might have a pretty hot temper a few years back when you kept hearing comments from his training partners about how he never loses during practice. He went to extreme lengths to win every position. His history of training injuries may point to a similar lack of restraint. It's a testament to Khabib's strong mind that he learned to keep his temper in check better. It's impressive. I'm sure his faith helped teach him self-control. McGregor is very good at making quick observations. Connor doesn't break stride as Dana puts his arm out. Khabib sees this and starts pulling back. McGregor stops immediately, turns his face to the side, and puts his palms up. Instant de-escalation from Connor. McGregor wants the interaction. He sees the effect he's having on Khabib and presents a cluster of passive gestures. He wants whatever information he can glean from the face-off. He doesn't want to spook Khabib. Connor presents submissive gestures to Khabib to make it more comfortable. This type of body language evolved in animals over millions of years. It allows rivals of the same species to avoid physical conflict and maintain peace. He shows the vulnerable side of his neck, palms up, so there's nothing underhanded. Then McGregor makes a rational explanation to Khabib and Dana why they should get closer. Come on, I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna touch him. Let's get face to face. Let's get close. Look into the eyes, kid. Connor softens his tone and adjusts his suit. This subtle gesture reorients McGregor, showing Khabib he's not only off the rails crazy, he can also be civil, the suit being the ultimate symbol of social responsibility. He asks for permission to close the distance between them. Come on, I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna touch him. Let's get face to face. Let's get close. Look into the eyes, kid. Yeah? Khabib doesn't respond. Connor moves in slow and calm, like you would approach a twice-kicked cat. Which proves, for all the madness, there's a controlled and calculating mind dictating McGregor's behavior. Above all, McGregor wants to share an intimate space with his opponent. He wants Khabib to inhale his ready musk and know what Khabib's eyes and body language have to tell. Connor gets his proximity. He makes a quick assessment, eyes darting around Khabib's face, looking for anything. He's not thinking. He's in full observation mode. Khabib shies away from McGregor's hungry eyes and whiskey breath, pulling his head back and tilting his chin up slightly. McGregor takes a deep breath, a subconscious act to bring more oxygen to the brain, be more alert, more in the moment. As he exhales, he rolls his shoulders back and then forward, becoming relaxed. Khabib is frozen stock still, no movement other than pulling away, eyes straight forward, but dead, not seeing, not looking. Khabib has never been like this in a face-off, nothing even close. The man is normally so full of confidence he has a hard time suppressing his smug, superior smile. 
So what the hell's going on with the Khabibur? Every muscle is tense. His eyes are heavy. He blinks slowly like a sleepy cat. Is this the same guy who promised to change McGregor's face? Said the next time he sees Connor, they would fight? You know, I can't believe we're gonna fight, you know, because I really want this guy. Make him humble, a little bit teach him, and, uh, and you know, not only smash, like, change his face. You know, I wanna change his face. Yeesh, what happened to this guy? Now listen to what I'm gonna say. I'm not talking about the upcoming fight. Khabib isn't afraid of Conor McGregor physically. I really hope that's plain enough. Because Khabib only care 6 October. But this isn't October, and they aren't in the octagon. This is extreme anxiety we're seeing from Khabib. Everything from muscle tension to the sleepy eyes. Prolonged periods of elevated anxiety drown the brain in fight or flight chemicals. Khabib can't do either. He can't fight Connor right now, but he would like to. And he can't run away, but he would like to. That's why he's frozen in place. He's barely breathing. McGregor starts whispering to Khabib. Connor's fishing with the first comment, testing and probing Khabib for reactions. He doesn't get anything. Then he hits a nerve. I can see blue lips. Blue lips. Khabib's been pressing his lips tight, repressing everything. This limits blood flow to the lips, along with shallow and frequent breathing. All the color's gone out of Khabib's lips. Connor jumps on this like a weakness and starts talking about his blue lips. I can see blue lips. Blue lips. He says it twice, and Khabib makes this an extremely short stare down. He's done. Khabib closes his eyes. He doesn't want to see Connor anymore or have to deal with him. Then he turns his face away, showing capitulation, and backs away, the whole time with his eyes heavy and nearly closed. It was only a face off, but Khabib quit. Dana sees it. He's looking straight into his face, so he pushes McGregor away. The face off is definitely over. As Connor turns ready to pose, he licks his lips and gives a quick squeeze. It's a transitional stress release gesture after passing out of one situation and making ready for the next. Connor's agitated. Perhaps he wanted more out of Khabib and realizes he won't get it. He's frustrated with that and starts repeating himself. I can see blue lips. Blue lips. All right. Khabib stands there blankly. His butt's sticking out now because his posture fell apart, shoulders slumped in a sunken chest. He rocks on stiff legs like a sleepwalker. Khabib licks his lips and sucks in the bottom lip and bites and holds it. This is active worry and suppression the whole time with sleepy closed eyes. Well, that's what I see. The event wraps with Khabib's manager shouting about Connor's fake belts. Shut your mouth. Ali Abdul Aziz, my terrorist, Ali, Ali, terrorist snitch. Ali. I know a lot about you as well, you mad rat. I know a lot about you as well. You keep your mouth shut, kid. Let me take my picture. Khabib's reaction is great. The big laugh and smile is a welcome relief from the tension he's been holding. But once Connor rips into Ali, Khabib starts to tense up again. His head and neck go rigid and the smile slides from his face. Khabib's had enough. He turns his back on the source of his stress and gets the hell out of there. Khabib clearly lost the face off. I put a big chunk of the blame on his team. They pounded him with one idea, don't get mad and don't let him get to you. During the Q&A, that was fine. I think the plan allowed him to avoid embarrassment or worse for McGregor's rapier tongue. But the face off is different. That's man to man. You can't crawl into an emotional shell and hide. Under the microscope of the moment, everything is revealed. And Khabib showed no ability or willingness to actually face Connor. I hope Khabib finds some of his old resolve before they do the next face-off. After talking non-stop crap about McGregor for two years, it makes him look weak to completely freeze and refuse to engage with him. Hell, even Artem did better than that.